This is ratio, the concept, language, and notation. Ratios compare objects. The comparison between the objects is division, we're dividing. So we want to make sure that the students are able to distinguish between the divisor and the dividend. So my first example to the students with ratio, I would show them an index card, and I would say that we know that this is a 3 by 5 index card. The 3 by 5 tells us about the length and the width of the card. If we find the ratio of length to width of the index card, the length is 5, the width is 3. So our ratio would be 5 to 3. So we can write that on the index card, that our length to width ratio is 5 to 3. But if I ask the students to find the width to length ratio, that would be 3 to 5. It's important that the students are able to distinguish between these two different ratios because when we divide to find the comparison, one of them is going to give us a number greater than one and the other would give us a number less than one. The next time that we talk to students about ratio, we're going to be using the pegboard. I would place two green pegs at the top of the pegboard and three red pegs. I would tell the students that we're going to be comparing the two sets of pegs. One way that I can do this is to say to the students, we have two green pegs to three red pegs. There's another way that we could say that, and that is just to say that green pegs to red pegs, our ratio is two to three. To continue this work with students, I would have them walk around the environment and find small objects that we could compare as a group. For this example, I have smiley faces and hearts. And I could first ask the students, what is the ratio of smiley faces to hearts? And the students would tell me that that ratio is 5 to 3. So my ratio of smiles to hearts is 5 to 3. After we've worked with several examples, I would tell the students that I'm going to introduce two new terms. The first term that I'm going to tell the students about is antecedent. Some of the students may recognize that the prefix ante means before. And this is the number in our ratio that comes first. So this is our first term in the ratio. The next term is consequence. And that is the second term in our ratio. I would have the students record these two terms and then use them as we discuss more examples.